In this video, I'm gonna take a used hoverboard, remove the battery, wire in a solar panel, and see how far I can go powered only by sunlight. But let me just say, hoverboards are the worst. And this project was super frustrating. And one part of me hopes that no one actually sees this video and I can just forget that it ever happened. But for those who do wanna see, let's do this. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> So this hoverboard I got for free off Facebook Marketplace. And the very first thing I did was start taking it apart. So with the cover off, you can see some of the internals. This is the battery pack that came out. It's a 25.2 volt battery pack, 4.45 volts. when we should be getting over 25. So this pack is toast. I'm not gonna be replacing it with another battery. Instead, I'm gonna be using this. This is a solar charge controller and it's a boost controller. So its output voltage is adjustable. For this, I'll probably use 24 volts or 36 if that's not too high. Here, Boop. To connect the charge controller to the battery plug, I just used some Wago connectors. Then I drilled a hole for the wires to fit through. I think we're ready. The sun is almost down, I gotta hurry. Got positive, we got negative. 27 volts. Whoa! Ah! It's on! I need longer wire! I mean, it's on! It's bouncing! Wonder if it thinks there's low battery, which the, there is no battery. Will this work? Oh! <laughs> okay, we're at 30 volts. Let's see. Oh, we might not have enough sun. <laughs> ah, shoot. I don't know, I kind of want to just try it and see. Oh, hey, it's working. No way. It's working. This might be the only solar powered hoverboard there ever has been. Wow, I could do this all day. It's happening. <sighs> okay, I'm facing the sun. <laughs> it's working. Oh, it's so heavy. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. This is totally gonna work. So there's literally no battery in this at all. We're going right from this 190 watt solar panel through the boost solar charge controller and directly into where the battery would be wired in. Crazy. Let's make this better. I got a 200 watt flexible panel, which is way lighter. <laughs> right when I was starting to make the frame out of PVC pipe, I noticed my hands were not feeling very good. Oh, dang it. It's fiberglass. No. Well, apparently that solar panel is made of fiberglass and I got fiberglass all on my hands. This does not feel good. Oh yeah, I see it. Dang it. Should be a warning. Do not hold with your hands. Ow. After I got the frame done, I attached the solar panel with some screws. And then I found a good spot and mounted the charge controller as well. 
And how do you attach a backpack to a solar panel frame? Zip ties. Oh yeah, hands free. Well, it is working and it's easier than it was before. What I thought was gonna be a piece of cake ended up being attempt number one. From this intersection to the next intersection is exactly one mile. I felt like that's gonna be a good first test. See if it'll be possible to go a mile purely off solar. Okay. Let's see. Whoa. It doesn't want to go. Come on. Hold it that way a little. Hey, okay, we're going. Oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. The car is coming. Oh, multiple cars are coming. Let me stop. Uh, just hide behind this huge solar panel. <laughs> I just can't even bear to look at <laughs> look at people. Let's start this up. Okay, we gotta make progress. Gotta make this mile. Oh This is definitely the dumbest thing I've ever done. Come on, come on, come on. Wow, hoverboards are the worst. Why didn't I do this on a scooter or anything? I picked up some speed. I was making pretty good progress. And then the hoverboard turned off. And I fell right on my back. This definitely was the low point in this project. Well, that was a fail. I was going to try to make it the rest of the mile, but I think I sprained my thumb. I got road rash on my arm. I'm just not feeling super motivated to keep going. It's just a little too dangerous, I think. If I were to keep going, I think I'd need to get one of the hoverboard seats just so that I don't fall again. <sighs> Scratch the solar panel. Ah, this sucks. Ow. I think I'm done for today. 0.4 miles. That's all I went. Dang it. I was seriously so close to giving up on this project. But after a few weeks and a new hoverboard chair, I decided to give it one more shot. safer. Okay, this is take two. The goal is to go from this intersection to the next one, that's exactly one mile. And the goal is to not end up laying in the road on my back. Let's see if I can do it. 
Okay. Oh yeah. Here we go. One mile. Oh yeah, this is so much better than wearing it on my back. Coming up to the finish line. <laughs> we did it. I'm kind of stuck because there's a cloud. Maybe this isn't the optimal vehicle. Well, <laughs> Uh, what do I even say? <laughs> well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my world record breaking solar powered hoverboard. If you want to see me try anything else with this, let me know. If not, bye. Uh, more people are coming. Let's just pretend I don't see them.